What's up guys? Thanks for tuning into the All Things Fishing page. So what I got for you today is a real review and what I'm going to be reviewing is Montana Fly Company's Madison 2 Fly Fishing Reel. Now this reel I've been using this for a little over a year and I absolutely love it. I mean the price was right, the quality is fantastic, and everything about this reel just screams by me. So that's why I'm going to be doing this review and hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so when you get this reel, it arrives in a nice box. You go ahead and you take it out. The reel comes with its own uh, reel bag or, you know, soft reel case for yourself so it doesn't get all scratched up at all. Go ahead and open up and you see you got this beautiful reel. So when you take this reel right out of the box you see the awesome design that it has and MFC really takes the time to make sure that their product is made well, looks great, and you can just tell that they put all that quality into their products. Um, MFC, they make reels, fly boxes, and they're probably most known for their flies and their fly materials. They make dry flies, you know, streamers, nymphs, stuff like that. So let's talk about this reel and go over what it's all about. So for starters, the reel is made from 6061 bar stock aluminum. So it's pretty light. Um, it doesn't bog down the rod at all or get the bottom end feeling heavy. It, it keeps it all balanced out pretty well. Um, this reel that I'm holding is a four to five weight reel. Uh, that is their smallest size. They make four to five weight, five to six weight, and seven to eight weight. So they pretty much cover all of your trout needs from the smaller trout to the bigger trout, you know, or the bigger weights, I should say. So, they got it covered there. Um, as you can see, you know, going back to the lightweight aspect, they machine the spool so it's got all these nice air pockets. You know, it's quick drying, it keeps the line dry, water wicks away from it. So the best aspect about this reel, and probably the one that most people who buy reels are looking for, is the drag system. So this reel has a carbon drag and what makes it so special is the triple pin engagement that MFC has integrated into this reel. So what that basically means is that with the press of this button the spool pops off from its frame and you get you get to see the drag exposed and inside there is the triple pins that engage around the drag and it basically what it does is it provides an extremely smooth drag you know when you're on a big fish and you need that drag to come in play you're gonna see that it's perfectly smooth it lets the fish run <laughs> keeps the tension on it and it doesn't allow that hook to get any slack in it to pop off so to set the drag on this reel it, it just has a knob on the back side and all you do is you turn it you know it's got that clicker in there and I don't know exactly what the max drag on this reel is but I do know that it's gonna be strong enough and smooth enough for all the fish that you're gonna be targeting with the size weight reel that you buy so another thing that MFC integrates within their reels is a larger arbor and what that does and it's, is it helps pick up the line faster when you're reeling in and um, there's multiple times where I've hooked a fish that started running at me or maybe just a smaller fish in general and that large arbor really does come into play when you're trying to reel in the slack so that's another bonus about this reel. So with all the nice artwork and the glossy paint you're probably wondering how durable this reel is and if it's just going to chip up the second you get it and look awful. And the answer is no. I've banged this reel up against the side of some boats, I've scraped it against some rocks, and it hasn't chipped, you know, thank goodness, because 
this reel looks too good to get all messed up. So the durability is actually very good with this reel. The paint is done right. They made it so it's not going to chip up the second it touches anything hard. And you know, even the uh, little prongs for the reel seat, whatever you want to call them, you know, it's a metal reel seat that's on my reel. And I could tighten it down really hard, wiggle it in there, and you know, there's no chipping, there's no scuff marks, no rubbing anything so the reel is plenty durable unless you go spike it into the ground I don't think you're gonna have a problem with seeing any chips on this so aside from the Madison 2 which is the reel that I'm holding right now they also have the Madison 2A which essentially is the same drag system the same reel but on the back side they'll add a solid plate of aluminum which actually adds weight but I think it's more of like a style aspect that they're going for because they have such nice looking reels. So just be clear that the Madison 2, the one I'm holding, has the ported aluminum on the back, which is more lightweight, and the Madison 2A has a plate of aluminum on the back, which they'll usually display with a lot more artwork, artwork and stuff like that. So it adds a little bit more weight, but it looks a little bit better. So in case you were wondering, for those righties and lefties out there who like to reel their fish in, the reel does enable you to reverse the drag so that you could either reel with your left hand or your right hand. So you don't have to worry about that. They give you simple instructions in the box. You just flip over a couple plates and your drag's set. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reel review. Um, whether you're a beginner or an expert, this reel covers it all. It has the price point for a beginner to buy, which is a little over $150, and it also has the workmanship that an expert can appreciate. And that's one thing that I feel makes this reel so special, and is why I'm giving it a double thumbs up. You know, I love this reel, and I'll definitely be buying more if I ever need to do so. And since this reel's so fine, I think it deserves a quick little montage for you guys to check out.